It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a beer from Brasserie de Brunhart. And this is their Amber Ale coming in at 6.5% ABV in a 330ml classic Belgian style bottle. I feel very, very comfortable holding a Belgian beer like this in my hand. I feel kind of at home because I've drank so many of them on the channel over the years. And they're just, they're just really well built top quality beers. The Belgian brewing scene, they will not have, they will not brew half hearted beers. And the reason for that is the people who buy, the lovely Belgian people who buy Belgian beer, and of course the people around the world drinking Belgian beer, know that if Belgian companies start skimping on their quality, then they'll just go elsewhere. They'll go and buy some, some other Belgian breweries' beers. So they have to be top quality beers from Belgium. And that's, that's, it's a bit like Belgian chocolate. Belgian beer. There's a sign of quality there. They really know what they're doing. There's a look at the bottle cap. Now, I'm going to take a stab at it. I've not done any Googling. We don't do any Googling on the channel. Brunhart, I know Brun means, means brown, and I'm wondering whether heart means heart. So, brown heart. Comment in the comments box. Am I right, or am, or am I a million miles wrong? Um, artisan Belgian ale, then. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Lovely, lovely bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Uh, beer in the glass. The beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsor, beersofeurope.co.uk. Beers of Europe, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. There we go. I like to say, if you've been on holiday in the distant past because of what's happened over the last two years, of course we're recording this in 2021, so we all know what happened in 2020 and 2021. Um, if you've been away in the distant past on holiday and this now becoming a distant memory, but you remember parts of that holiday, i.e. the beer, and you're living in the UK and you want to see if you can find that beer that you had on holiday that went down lovely next to the beach, then check out beersofeurope.co.uk because they probably have it. They have beers from all around the world, America, Germany, France, Belgium, Italy, Spain, you name it, Brazil, I could go on and on and on, Poland, Czech Republic, beers from all over the world. So check it out, beersofeurope.co.uk. Let's get on with the beer review then. So yeah, we got a two finger head, hazy, Red, amber coloured beer, nice levels of carbonation. Uh, let's get the aroma on this beer then. Oh, that just smells beautiful. Oh my goodness me. Loads of, well, not loads of, there's a little bit of chocolate malt in there. Oh, that is wonderful. It's biscuity and bready. Nutty, but hoppy at the same time. It's got a beautiful, beautiful hop aroma to it. But it's that underlying sense of chocolate and nut. I've had some fake, like, chocolate. They write chocolate and nut. It, it, it could come from someone like Tiny Rebel, you know, like, like that where they put in concentrates and, and liquids and uh, you know and they make like Nutella beers and that sort of thing I actually like the Nutella but we'll move on from that um, but this is how you do it naturally I'm just getting the aroma of this beer I'm picking up chocolate and a breadiness and a nuttiness if this brewery wanted to they could change the name of that to like crunchy nut cornflake type thing chocolate crunchy nut corn and they get away with it they get away with it because it just smells of chocolate and nuts and biscuit and 
it smells br brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But they don't, and this is what I like about Belgian beer. They just quietly go about their business. They quietly go about their business of brewing terrific, terrific beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's brilliant. That is absolutely superb. The drinkability for the 6.5% ABV beer is out of this world. The carbonation pushes the beer round the inside of the mouth, but it's not too aggressive. The flavours are nutty and biscuity. Oh. And it's got a beautiful, spicy, peppery, hoppy back end. Oh! This is something to behold. Look at the lacing. I've not rolled the beer around in the glass. Look, I will now in a minute. Look at this. Look at the quality of this brew. It's got a bramble, raisin, blackberry. Blue Brie, Wild, I used to call it, in my early days of reviewing, um, Hedgerow Hops or, or Dark Forest Fruits type of thing. Um, but I'm, I've nailed it down now to more of a Wild Blue Brie, Wild Black Brie, Raspberry sort of flavour going on. And that's from the traditional Belgian hops that they've used in the beer. That really is wonderful. That is wonderful. I bet if you go on somewhere like Untapped or Rape Beer, it's got a great rate in this beer, but I, I bet not many people have bothered putting it into Untapped or Rape Beer. And and this is the, the, the thing, I think, with, with Belgian beer. If, if some of them... Well, once they... Because they will. They will. When when I, I went to Belgium a few years ago and I went to a like a, a beer bloggers conference type thing and we and, and I asked a few like social media type questions and it just it went over their heads completely. Like we were in a stage and I was in the crowd and I stood up and asked a question about social media and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, how they kind of harness it, how they use it. And they were just like, they just stood there looking at me like they didn't didn't know kind of like what I was talking about and it's a real shame it's a real shame because I think it will happen it will happen but when the when the Belgian brewers like really get up to speed with social media I, I think they, they, they'll they'll absolutely I mean people would be buying their beer from all over the world they do anyway people travel to Belgium to drink the beer but I think there's a real opportunity for the Belgian brewers to, to, to really nail social media and and make their message felt that they make some of the best beer in the world like this beer is today. Yeah and, and again there's not much to say. There's not much to read. They just you know they're just getting on with their business. Contains malted barley. That's all they really want to say on the side of the on the bottle. I'm going to rate it. Brunhart. Maybe Brownhart, if I'm right. Um, I, I think that that's a brilliant beer. It's a brilliant, brilliant beer, and I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.